the witnesses go ahead and give evidence, um, it is arranged with uh, one of the colleagues to stand in for him. Um, he, he was not going to take issue with uh, with the with the evidence from 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 what he told. Me. Is this how lawyers, black lawyers, maybe we should just tell the truth? Is this how black lawyers behave? Yeah. Some of them, maybe I should qualify that. Okay. Do you remember the remarks that were made by Ucha Chiratamokotling about black lawyers in South Africa? Well, I can confirm to you now that something is about to give. Uh, he is in trouble for making such remarks. And uh, I will stand here and be like, uh, I am glad they are taking steps for that. Because, I mean, it was really uncalled for. You shouldn't have said that. And uh, let me remind you something about Judge Ratamo Khwateng. And I said to you guys the other time, if you analyze Judge Ratamo Khwateng, he loves the things that were happening in back in the days. Uh, back in the days, there were no... Uh, look, as a lawyer, you wouldn't have stood up against a judge like they are doing now under this, this like, democratic dispensation, right? Now they are allowed uh, to stood up and say things as long as they are saying it in a respectful manner. So that's why he had a problem sometimes with Ncholo. Now, he took a jab to advocate him Gomezul. But the mistakes that the mistake that he did, which I honestly don't understand and it's uncalled for, especially for a person who's as old as him, because we want to look at the age and associate the age with life experience. And out of life experience, we are to learn something, right? So when you hear somebody who is, uh, is as old as him, number one, number two, uh, the position he occupy in society, it's a very, very um, a serious position in society. So when a person who occupy a position, look, his position in society, say things such as, um, do lawyer, do black lawyers do this? You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, what are you saying? Like honestly speaking, what are you saying? Judge I don't know whether he's overconfident, whether he's lack, but the way he speaks, it doesn't show sense of responsibility. At some point, you will remember the very same judge. He will talk about uh, how other people are disrespectful. Whilst you are talking, they are also talking. You know what I'm saying? And you remember things like that. And I said, this judge, he does the exact same thing, but he's got a problem when others are doing the same thing. And that was my problem. It turns out that now he was going to say things that will eventually lead him to, uh, to where now things are. Now, let me just read a uh, few things uh, before I get into exactly what, uh, he, look, what, exactly what um, he said. Is this how black lawyers, is this how lawyers black lawyers made we look uh, may, maybe we should just tell the truth is this how black lawyers behave hey this question this question has led into some serious um uh look at some serious things that will now happen but before i jump into uh before i jump into uh the the, the the depth in this video i put it to you that you do the following if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for come on good people because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge to click the notification bell it is free of charge to share this video it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge also good people i mean come on to watch the ads it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contributing to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed after such remarks again made by Ujacha Ratamohwateng 
people did not take it kindly and I, i'm one of those that i may say I, I must say that i honestly didn't take it kindly like honestly speaking man um you can't speak like this you know what i'm saying Spe- specifically uh, as a judge yeah, oh no 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 so okay uh this is what is now happening um it has been confirmed he says like let's start, let's start here is this how black lawyers behave why does he why doesn't he phone me is this what a uh, counsel or any attorney uh, who has ethical standard does i get a message through my registrar the attorney or an advocate does not phone the judge and the judge must smile because he is black well, well look the issue of color and all the stuff where was it coming from like judge rata what's going on like there's something that really we need to know about judge rata because i mean honestly speaking he's been blaming remember at some point he made uh, some remarks that um uh, back in the days it was better blah 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 and uh, I, I look there was even a lawyer that had a problem with the the look at the the citations or the look whatever he want to reference to the rule of law he always goes to the most of the time it's the older ones the 1971s 19 and somebody was saying but if you look at the things that were happening under those look, during those years there was a lot of oppression so how, how, how can we throw in friends or how can we throw uh the local matters of principle from things that happen under apartheid those are some of the questions that nama was like hey but that does not make sense to me to quote things that were happening up under apartheid where we know for a fact that those people were biased to begin with those courts were never true to the local to the cause so now but uh look uh, the president of the black lawyers association kosana um Vulela, has criticized mokotlang's utterances questioning what mgomezulu's conduct had to do with being black Aye. then if you hold such a view it will be very very sad in the whole process of lawyering in south africa that a judge of his caliber to look to come out to believe uh look to come out to believe that a person who does uh, who does what our colleagues may have done has not has not done it be, look has 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 not to do it because he's black this is the president of the black uh as local association of what what lawyers right Vudlela says now listen they will be writing to the Gauteng uh, Judge President Uluku uh, Daxten Mlambo to talk uh, to talk to Judge Mkhwatleng on his recent comment. Uh, I, I, I have some few questions to ask concerning this. To say, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just wondering. To say, maybe he said that knowing exactly that he's a retired judge. He, uh, maybe there are a few things that can happen to him but this may not lead to him being probably uh, a, a remove uh, as a judge like now that we are seeing the issue of who judge so people look we see we are seeing currently the issue of who judge um this judge uh Maumela. we have seen judge Lopez impeachment so it's, it's those things to say mm, maybe as a retired judge he he knows that something uh, there's nothing significant that will happen to him L- yeah i think so i think he knows that there's nothing significant that will happen to him but yeah there's also this thing to say his behavior his conduct as a judge when he enters the arena and remember at some point when i was talking to when i was talking about judge Rata Mokhotleng, i say generally the perception that we have right it says judges are upright people judges are people who are not talkative they listen things to things and then they give you a, a direction we are not saying judges should have shouldn't have mouth to talk we're just saying the way they engage they must engage meaning they must enter the arena and then step back allow things to happen and then correct whatever they need to correct but step back allow the two lawyers the state prosecutor and the, the defense lawyer to present a matter 
and then the judge you know what i'm saying we have seen that happening gui kesiga as a one I, I think we've seen similar situation with ak where we just saw the judge how he engages yeah you know i said he engages when look everything that he does it's just uh, the perception and uh, the standard that we have out there to say the judge comes in enter the arena when it is necessary and then exit i think also uh in the, the local tower baxter story the way the judge enters the arena there's no problem at all from the things that i've seen and i've had never had people complaining about the judge entering the arena uh unnecessary but when it comes to mohateng he's he enters the arena he stays in the arena he doesn't leave the arena the arena doesn't belong to him it is only when it is necessary for him to enter the arena then we accept for instance uh, you see that this one is being taken advantage of then you enter as a judge into the arena and say fairness then it, it makes sense you understand but also things that we haven't seen from judge Ratama Khwatleng and things that we'll expect it's how he treats the, the state witnesses versus the defense the defense witnesses and how he treats the state prosecutor versus how he treats the defense we look we are not seeing uh, uh, fairness in terms of that and that it, it it works against the state in term it works against the image and the credibility of judges in south africa because this case of senzo Meiwa, i've said it in one of my videos that it's one case that sets the standard for a lot of things it's one case that um people should understand its significance in society and the perception and everything that it creates so this case it's a case that destroy credibilities of organizations or it will build credibility credibilities of any organization in south africa every single organization that is in, involved in that airlock in, in the sense of your case I even said, even those that are transporting papers, they need to do it to the best of their ability. This is the case that we are looking at, and we are drawing a lot of inference in out of it. And I'm telling you right now, the behavior of the judge has imposed a lot of doubt. If he were to come out and rule against the, the local, the, the, the accuser as of now, I'm telling you, people will say we were never surprised. Just judging the judging by the way he 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 conduct himself he hasn't presented himself as a person that really uh is neutral a person that enters the arena when it is necessary and also i don't like the idea that the judge doesn't listen this judge doesn't listen at all you know you can say you can say few words and then he, he gets in and then he answer and then he jumps into the conclusion at some point you, you look at not long ago he got to be corrected that no that's not what i was saying hey i think it was advocate Baloy. he even said that hey, if the court had listened to me in other words you don't listen listen as you listen then respond to what is being said right not this thing of so i'm saying such things it destroys the credibility of judicial in judicial in general in south africa so i believe uchach um, lambo he needs to act swiftly because it is about the credibility of the institution, right? Uh, I'm not saying they should remove Judge Ratamo Khwatleng, but I'm saying he needs to stop behaving the way he behaves. Um, he needs to show fairness in how he deals with matters. He, look, certain views that he has, such as black lawyers and all the stuff, I think those views must be kept to himself. Not We shouldn't be knowing about that because right out of, oh look, uh, from what he has said now, the perception that he, we, we have formed out of him, uh, it's something that is not going to be difficult to counter that. And I've seen Judge Ratamo uh, Khwatleng knowing and realizing that people are against him in certain matters. I've seen him as things continues and then he goes back and then trying to fix things that he once said in the past. And I said, like, uh, Judge, I see what you're doing here. So I'm saying, Judge, Judge, please, um, it's about the credibility of the institution here. It's about the image of the, of the institution to judge. President Mlambo, Nakona, I'm, I'm look, even to him, I'm going to say the same thing. It is about the credibility of the institution here. It is about the, um, it is about the, the, the image of the institution called the judicial system. Uh, if they want it to be as trusted as they would love to, I think this is the time where they need to do things that will show the public that, no, we don't agree to this. No, we don't subscribe to this. No, we subscribe to this. And I think that's where my look, that's where I'm standing. And that's where maybe uh, I would conclude my point to say, he, look, the judicial system needs to have some sort of a stand on the matter and make us understand that really, um, 
what was there a need for him to mention black or white lawyers was there like maybe maybe you saw the need you must tell me because i did not see the need right i i, I don't treat him to say ah just because that's why because um or maybe um that's why because you are that's why you behave this way to get a point we don't we, we, whenever we are against him it's not on the basis of his surname it's on the basis of his conduct not on the basis of and we have you have never had uh, we've never had us say ah because this judge behaved this way therefore all the judges in south africa are like him or we have never questioned judges in South Africa. And look, I know it sounds a bit contradictory to what I said, but I'm saying, may, hear me out. I'm saying, you have never heard people saying, yeah, judge uh, uh, saying things such as um, painting all the look, the judges in South Africa with the same brush just because of uh, what judge Ratama is saying. We have never heard people saying that. But what I say, Contrary, lest I, I, I be mis misunderstood. What I'm saying is, it's like police. There are police that will treat you good. And I've experienced that myself. And there are police that will treat you bad. And I've experienced that. So when we complain about police, at the back of our mind, we know for a fact that they are good police. Police that are, love their job, that they do their job. So because of a, a prevailing or predominant uh, behavior by these dirty cops, it distort our view so much so that even the good cops sometimes we don't see them you know what i'm saying we don't appreciate them because it, it, it this is the issue of perception it there in our mind the perception is already created that cops are dead cops are dangerous cops are not to be trusted that it get it look uh, ingrained in our minds and it's not what we are look what you want especially when it comes to the judges police may be corrupt they even them they shouldn't be but i'm saying even when police are corrupt, even when the, the prosecutors are corrupt, the last defense is to have a judge that is fair. And it would have been better if the, perce the perception around the judge is that people believe that judges are fair. So judges in South Africa, they should refrain from things that jeopardize this because in people's mind, that's your last defense, your last hope. When everything else has failed, you can be failed by your lawyers. You can be failed by the state prosecutor. You can be failed by police. You can be, you know, there can be local uh, wars in the country. There can be wars in your family. Um, dismiss at work. Uh, at, uh, you know, at the end of it all, when all have been said and done, the last defense or the last hope is to have a law, a judge, that will sorry it to have a fair judge that's the that is what that that's the perception that we have long formed but when we see the things that we are seeing our minds automatically we we try but our minds automatically it it, 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 it is very easy to erase the good perception that we have about judges and it's it takes a twinkling of an eye to form a bad behavior. I don't know why, but it's so easy. So I'm trying to say in conclusion, it is so easy for public perception to be formed that judges are just rude, evil, corrupt. You know what I'm saying? So you need to be careful of what you are doing as a judge in court, especially in the cases that are on the media. Judges need to be fair. They need to guard against it because... We are watching and we are forming perception over what is happening in court.